Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Today, I'll be looking at technology in accounting. At the end of a lesson, you should be able to identify advantages and disadvantages of using technology in accounting, basically using computerized accounting processes. Now, I'm going to begin by looking at the benefits. What are the benefits to be derived from using computerized accounting processes, basically technology in accounting, the advantages. The first one is that there's greater accuracy. Once you're using computerized processes, guys, this is automatic. So basically it will be error-free. There will not be any mistake. By the way, I am not saying that from the human end, there may not be error from that critical stage where the human is entering the data into the system, there may be error. For example, as simple as entering the formula in spreadsheet, if you're using spreadsheet, there can be error. And once there is an error, then you're not going to get the desired result. But once the information is inputted accurately, definitely your end result will be error free. Another is that there is greater speed. Greater speed in the sense that because record updating, calculations, etc., occurs instantaneously. So instantly you can get your results once you enter the information into those computerized processes, then by you quint, by a snap your information is ready, okay? Another is uh, the improved accessibility. It is usually far easier to track down particular details that the users of accounting information will need. Quickly, in no time, you will get those information from the computer rise accounting system. So you're able to track the information that is needed. Once you put in the command, you will get all that information that is needed, those details. Moving into availability of more information. Now, because you're using the computerized accounting system, then reports on a wide range of matters can be produced easily, meaning that those making decisions, those stakeholders, those users of accounting information will have all this information so that they can make useful decision, better decisions, okay? Another is that there is simultaneous updating. Now, once you put in the data into the computerized system, instantly, by just one entry, by that one single entry that you have recorded into the computerized system, everything that is related to that is updated instantly. For example, let us look at cash sales. Once that passes through the cash register instantly, the volume of sale increases, that is updated, the value of the sales is also in, um, updated because there's an increase in the value of sales. It shows that there is an increase in cash. It also shows that there is a reduction in that particular inventory that was sold, et cetera. So everything that relates to that is updated instantly by just that one entry, all right? Let us now look at another advantage, which is the possibility of a reduction in staffing costs. Now, we all know that once the business introduces the computerized accounting processes, much of the work done in keeping the accounting system will be automatic. So therefore, Computerization can mean that there is a reduction in the number of persons, the number of staff that are required to carry out the task, because much of this can be done by just a click and the computer 
will take care of all those processes. What they'll need is just someone to input the information and that is it, all right? So from the business end, they would not have to think about paying out wages or salaries to these individuals because there is a reduction in number of persons that they would now need to employ. So those are the advantages of using technology in accounting. We now move into looking at the downside of computerized accounting processes. What are the disadvantages? Because once you introduce, introduce the accounting processes, the technology in accounting, then of course there will be disadvantages, right? And the first one there is that there will be some additional costs that will be incurred. What are these costs that, possible costs that may be incurred? The first one is that they would need to train the staff. So therefore there will be a cost attached to that. So when introducing a computerized system, it is almost inevitable. They cannot escape it, that they will have to train the staff in using the system so that they can get full use of the purpose of having the technology in accounting. Also, from time to time, because there will be updates in the system, then basically these staff members that are using the system will have to be trained at that time as well. So there are times when there will be ongoing training. Another cost that will be incurred is that there will be an increase in capital expenditure. So installing the computerized system, there is a cost and there is an increase in the capital expenditure. And tell you what, these can be relatively expensive. The cost of the equipment and the software can be high. It can be relatively expensive. It, it is also likely that the hardware and the software will have to be upgraded quite often. And in upgrading it, definitely that is gonna come with a cost as well. So again, addition to the fixed asset, that will cause an increase in the capital expenditure because that is a cost to the business. Another cost is that you will have to maintain these computerized system. So there is maintenance and support cost. Computers can crash. These systems can crash. And once the system crash, you will need expertise in order to solve that issue. What I'm basically saying is that once you're using the computerized system, something can go wrong and you will need that technical support to remedy that problem. And once the business get that technical support, definitely their work is not free. It's not free. So therefore the business will have to pay them to remedy that. They have to pay them for their service. So definitely that's another cost that the business will incur. Now let us look at another disadvantage and that is the risk of data loss. Yes, the system can crash. The system can crash. No. Take a look at using just a flash drive from just a flash drive user in. Using a flash drive, you save everything on the flash drive and now it's time for you to retrieve it, whether you're gonna print it or just to view it, whatever it is. You find that once you input it in the system, you're unable to view the file, why? Because it's corrupted. Virus take over. So therefore you'll have to format it or you'll throw it away and whichever one you choose, you'll be losing the data that is on that. Similarly, when the business use a computerized system, the computer can crash, basically suffer from viruses. And once this take place, there can be difficulties with keeping the data secure. So that is a disadvantage of using the computerized accounting system. Another disadvantage, period of transition. 
once a business introduces the computerized system, what they tend to do is to run the manual system alongside the computerized system for a few months. Now, the aim in doing this is to ensure that the process takes place smoothly. You want to ensure that you're fully, they want to ensure that you're fully comfortable with the computerized system before they fade out the manual system. And guess what? It may be those very same staff that is using the manual system that will have to do the backup on the computerized system. So they have to carry out that duty as well. So that put a strain on the employees, as well as it is putting a strain on the business because again, they're incurring other costs. They're using up the business resources and definitely that is a disadvantage on the business end because it's not like they can get rid of the, the extra employees instantly. So they will have to be paying those persons to ensure that the process takes place smoothly. All right. So those are the advantages and disadvantages of using the computerized accounting processes. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.